So, what is it about these hyperlinks? We hear people talk about hyperlinks all the time, and most people associate hyperlinks with either an image, text in a document, or something that when you end up clicking on it, it will end up taking you to a website. Now hold on for a second. That's not all hyperlinks do. They can do several things, including making a jump to page button. So I taught you two ways on how to jump to the page through InDesign in the last tutorial, but creating a hyperlink is a third way to do it. And I'll end up showing you how to do that through the master page. So if you click on pages and you double click on your master page, what you're gonna do next is then hover over and select which text you want to change it to a hyperlink. In this case, I'm gonna change my video one to it. After selecting video, Hover over your hyperlinks in the panel to the right and left click on it. And you'll notice right away that the hyperlinks panel does come up with a URL text field. I'm going to ignore that for now. And I'm going to go down to the bottom and there's an option called create new hyperlink. I will end up left clicking on that and that will open up a dialog box. Now when it does, it's pretty cool because although it starts with URL, we have a drop down menu here and guess what we can select we can make a file open we can send it to somebody's email we can send it to a specific page inside of our InDesign document among a few other things so for this example I'm going to change it to page and right off the bat you'll notice that it ends up recognizing the document that I'm currently working in and it's asking for which page number would I like this to jump to. So I'm going to end up choosing page 4 because that's my video page. And then I can change my zoom setting. So I'll do fit in window. And then if I wanted to go a little bit crazier, I could add some appearance like type. So I can make an invisible or visible rectangle around it. And I can also highlight it. But I'm going to ignore that for now and I'm going to click OK. And just like that, we created a third jump to button, a third different way from before. Now, let's get back to the main document and just learn how the hyperlink things like our Facebook icons and YouTube to our specific accounts. So if you click on pages and you go to wherever those symbols are, on mine, it's under my biography page. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna left click on Facebook icon and I'm gonna go to the hyperlinks again and this time I'm going to click on create new link but we're going to link it to a URL now when this URL drop down menu or text field comes up I usually like just to go to the internet and type in Facebook followed by going to my actual page and just copying the URL right from the web address bar so now going back to InDesign just select everything in here and just copy and paste it. In order to copy, just hold down Command and hit C in your web browser. In order to paste it, hold down Command and hit the letter V. So I'm just gonna leave it just like that and I'm gonna click OK. And I'm gonna do the same thing for my YouTube account. I'll highlight it. I'll click on Create New Hyperlink. It asks me what the URL is. I'll go back to Firefox or whatever web browser you are currently using. And with YouTube, I'm actually just going to go right to my channel. That way people can browse through all the different videos I've created. Again, command C in the web address bar up here. Go back down to InDesign and command V inside of the destination for URL and hit OK. With that being said, I'm going to hide my hyperlinks panel. And now just for all of you, I'm going to do a file export and debug it. I'm going to again save it as a test file and save it as an Adobe PDF Interactive. And after I click save, just hit OK. And hit OK one more time for the color space. Then it's going to export and it will pop up right in Acrobat just as always. Here we go. Let me shrink it back down to 50. First off, let's see if my video is working correctly. Jumps right to the video several frames page as you can see doesn't matter what page I'm on it will always jump there so that's pretty nifty and now let's click on my Facebook 
And when I do that, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, or any website, when you click on a hyperlink that's going to take you to a web page in a PDF, it will always ask a security warning. So if you want your clients or whoever is using your PDF to remember it, just like cookies are remembered through an internet web browser, just leave this checked on. But if you only want it to be a one-time let through to the web, click this off and then just hit allow. So by doing so, you'll notice that it opens up my Facebook page right away. And if I click on the YouTube one, it'll ask the same dialog box. And there we go. It went right to my YouTube page. And the reason why I didn't ask for a dialog box that time is because when I previously was going through this tutorial, I ended up actually saving it as a cookie. So there you have it. All of our stuff's hyperlinked whether it be directly to the web or whether it be even just another go to page function. You can do several different things with hyperlinks. You can even open up other InDesign documents and specific pages. You can open up Word files. Basically, the possibilities are endless. So when we pick up back on our tutorials, we're going to learn some more advanced stuff that you might have missed. So stick around.